Hey guys, this is the second part of the video because you were like, I just oh, so let's continue from that. So basically, in the first part, I was explaining to you how the write method, write file method does, and here I'm going to explain how create a script method is working. So basically, I'm saying, okay, hey, this is an item is an array. I'm saying if the total items total items in that array is 20 if the length of that item is 20 then I, I'm gonna do something right there if it is not 20 I have nothing to do so I'm saying okay hey can you do you have total 20 items in it hey array if you have 20 item I want to do something and then I'm basically remember here's my object and this object had a template pattern which is a kind of like a private field but it's available <laughs> So it's available to this method. So basically, this this is the string right here is the that template pattern. I have a reference to that guy, and I'm assigning that to this local variable. Okay, and then mm, this is just uh, some little so, so the item you know like this is how you reference the individual item by the index. And in index 18, well, basically in in Python also. In array index start from 0 to n minus 1. So this is kind of important, you know, like last value right here, usually null. If there is no data on it, I want you to get a current date as the value for it. And then, I, and then basically, um, whatever the result is, because this result is my string. And a string has a format method, and the format method takes because I have all this placeholder right here, so I have to replace the placeholder with the actual value coming out from the reading the file. That's what I'm doing. Basically, passing all the values. See all the way, uh, 19 of those. And once I have that information, <laughs> and basically all I say to okay, you know what? Write this data. Boom. Remember, remember this method. Yeah. It's calling this method to write the this data, which is now even is inserted statement into the file. Okay. Now, well, of course, you know this is the now I have a read file method. Remember, I ha uh, this method. I haven't explained to you how the reading of the f reading w reading a file in Python works. Um, this is a read file it doesn't take any parameter and then basically I open the file to read this is the path remember that the path is is declared in the constructor and I don't need this guy okay so basically I do for each for I'm basically saying go over all the lines that in the file <laughs> this is the need I mean basically I'm saying this is my array this is basically you know a reference to that the file and then go over all entire data in the file and then I have them some little variable called counter I set the counter to zero and I said okay if the counter is zero don't do anything just increment the counter and continue and start the second loop so basically you know like I have to do this one because I don't like I don't need this is not the head this this is not actual data just the heading of the file starting from line 2 th that is important to me that's why I had to do something like that you remember this the okay so on the second iteration this can be uh, the because I already implemented the counter to 1 so from the second iteration it's always going to hit the else part and then once I have the this line right here basically it's a one row of that file and I know it's all each individual record in that row is you know separated by the pipe pipe character right here and then basically I said okay go ahead and split everything and when it is split you know it will have this token so not token this individual record and then I assign that individual record into my list which is basically an array and then that's it and then once I, I have those array information I call my another method that is responsible for you know right the creating the script creating the insert script and of course you know I have to increment the counter here well I really just uh, incremented one I don't really, and then this I incremented the counter and that is the end of my class that's that's it 
and then now you know once I have my class already now I have to I can call it so um, so basically I create an instance of my object object you don't really the cool thing is in Python you don't really have to do new like in, in C sharp or pb.net or in, in Java or all those languages you just create this guy basically now and you don't have to <laughs> declare it you don't have to what kind of data type it is it's kind of cool, you know, it's because it, it's, a, it's a dynamic language. And because, remember, according my constructor expect me to pass some, some path here, file path, that's why I had to pass the file path, that's input file. This is where my file is located. And then, once that instance is created, I call the read, log, read file method. That's it, it's beauty. Okay, let me see, let me go ahead and build this. Um... Okay, let me put a breakpoint right here. Okay, see, it's really cool. You can do debugging Python code in, the, in Visual Studio 2012 with that plugin. Okay, I'm gonna start it here. Okay, see the plugin. I'm gonna do F10. This it is telling me what it is here, and then I'm gonna call this read file method. I want to go inside of it. I will do CF11. I'm in here, right? And then I just open this file. F10. And then the first iteration of the file, because in the first iteration, it's a counter is set to zero. And then I incremented that one. Just continue. Start the second iter iteration. And then basically, now if I, if I look at this value right here, look at that. It's, it's read entire data into, into a list. That is really cool. So little code, and you can do so many things in Python. So basically, that's the first entry right here. That's number three nine nine. Of course, you know. So um, and after that, I'm gonna go into the, my new method, CFTF eleven, and if there's a twenty fields in it, and and now, look at this guy. <laughs> my insert is statement is already all done. Um. I think let me show you the folder on oh, somewhere here. Oh, my output folder. Um, I don't know where did I save it? Oh, let me find out. Some data SQL file. Yeah. Yeah, here. See this one right here. SQL for data.txt. You can actually, I can see right here. It's just started reading. It started writing this data. <laughs> well, this I had already previous data. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy, um, and then let me restart the re rerun this application. You know, you will see. Come in here. I'll go through one. Ooh, it's a story because. Permission denied. Oh, it's open. That's why. Yeah, it's uh, writing the file. See, it's all the data is here. It's really cool, like I said. So that is it. That's the code. You know, so um, I mean, like you know, maybe my Python code is not that neat because, like I said, I'm I'm learning Python code by myself. Um. I'm learning Python by myself and in my free time, you know, like whatever new thing I learn, I would like to create a videos and, you know, post it and get up, you know, so that I believe that sharing knowledge is very important because you know, by sharing, you not only I learn it because, you know, I can help other people to, you know, get some knowledge about it. So that's why I created videos and write a blog and as, you know, as being, you know, software engineer is really kind of give a kind of kind of give satisfaction to me kind of like contributing to the community out there you know people who want to learn new things I mean like so uh, it was it, when I saw that plugin to Visual Studio I was like yes I really I need to have that one and it's open source you know you just put a plugin and write code anyway guys that is the code this is my first Python code that I'm sharing into videos well 